Compound X has three isotopes, X28, X29, and X30. X28 has a mass of 27.9769 atomic mass units and is 68.3% abundant. X29 has a mass of 28.9765 and is 19.2% abundant. And X30 has a mass of 29.9737 and is 12.5% abundant. Calculate the atomic mass of compound X. So, there's a formula that we can use for this. And the formula says that the atomic mass is equal to the, uh, the abundance of compound 1 times the mass of 1 plus the atomic mass of compound 2 times the mass of 2 plus, and so on and so forth. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to say the atomic mass of X is equal to, so um, the abundance of the first one, we're going to put it in decimal form instead of percentage. So in this case, 68.3% for the first uh, isotope is going to be 0 0.683 times um, the molar mass is 27.9769. So then the next one is um, the abundance of number 2, so 0 0.192 times the mass of number 2 is 28.9765. And then plus the last one, so its abundance is 0.125, and the mass of that is 29.9737. So if you add this up, you're going to find that the answer you get is 28.4184232. Okay? And that's actually answer C on your test. But that's not going to be the correct answer because if you look, if you look at your five answer choices, they're all very close to one another. And the reason that you're not going to pick this is because of significant figures. Now, if you look at um, the details that the question gave you, the percentage abundances that they gave you are only specific to three significant figures, like 68.3% or... 19.2% um, and so on. So your final answer can't be any more specific than three digits. So what you're going to find is that the answer, you have to round this to three significant figures. So you're going to be going down to 28.4. And that is actually answer choice two on your test.